Hi everyone, this Excel tutorial will be using index match to compare two lists with multiple criteria. Uh, this is computer tutoring. So let's just show you what I mean by going to, uh, let's have a look at this, uh, share the screen here. So what we've got is an issue here. I've got suppliers here with the discount and I've got the discount of the suppliers and I've got suppliers with their city, but I've got them in two separate lists. And you imagine that this list goes on forever. I don't have a unique identifier for each one of those as well. Plus on the orders that I've got that have been placed, I wanna know which city that the order has been placed on based on the contact name. And I've also just made up the discount just there. So as you can look at the bottom here, I've got a little intro sheet to help me Excel, Excel tutorial using index match to compare, compare two lists with multiple criteria. Bit of a mouthful that was there. All right then, so let's have a look and see how we uh, do this. And I may I recommend that you have a quick look at the index match multiple criteria tutorial on YouTube as well, uh, or wherever you're viewing this, um, just to get to grips with how that this might work no unique identifier mm, so what do i do so what i can do is if i go down to and i click on the orders just at the bottom here uh that's it just get rid of that's it so i go down to orders just here um and then i'm going to go to try to identify the city so let me just zoom in a bit so it makes it nice and clear i'm just going to type in equals and i'm going to type in index so this is the first part of this you really need to understand index match to know how this is going to work all right, so uh, what I'm gonna do is I need to work out where the cities are. So if I go down to the bottom here, let me just zoom max and give myself some context. So click on the supplies with the city, and I'm just gonna click on the column header for city. And I, I forgot to mention, I'll make this file available for you down below so you don't miss any of it. I'll make sure that you can see that. Great, so that's the city there. Let's just zoom in again and see if we can just uh, continue our formula. So if we type in, a comma so now we need to know the row number so I'm going to type in a match open bracket and then we're going to do an array formula okay now if you're using the later version of Excel you don't actually have to press control shift and enter you can just press enter and it will work with older versions of Excel if you're using 2013 or so um, you might have to just do control shift and enter I'll come to that when we get to it so what we want to do is with the city I want to make sure that, um, let's have a look here, that any of this, the company name, let me just zoom back a bit to so give you some context here. So I wanna make sure that with the city bit, the company name here is going to equals under the orders, if I go to orders just here, um, that company name there. And then I'm gonna close off my bracket. Let me just zoom in to do, give you, a, so you can see here, starting at row one, supplies with a city A, equals orders b2 okay then i'm going to do something weird we're going to multiply and then do the same for the um contact name so again go down to and choose uh supplies with city highlight the contact name list here so it says b let me just zoom in so you can see here there and then we're going to say that it does that equal zoom back again and then go back to our order sheets contact name here all right let me just zoom back in again, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is finish off by doing a, uh, uh, a bracket, comma, and then the match type is zero for an exact match. Now, if you're using an older version of Excel, you can hold down Control, Shift, and press Enter to get that one there. Oh, was I getting, oh, I was missing an extra bracket at the end. So I'll say yes to accept that correction. And now I can see it's come up Cardiff. And you can also notice as well here that I've got these if I go in really closely, these tiny little brackets here, those braces, which show that um, this is an array uh, function. That's great. Uh, if you're using a normal version of Excel, <laughs> i.e. one that's you know, like 2019 or a later version, you can just press enter and the same thing will happen as well. Uh, it's great. So then I can go up here, I can also fill it down here and it will work whether you're doing an array function or not. Great, so now I know that the order here on the 19th from Abacus Books, because it was made by Andy Hanworth, it's, he's based in the city of Cardiff. I don't have to look that up. Fantastic, so let's have a look and see if we can do the same with a discount. So I'm gonna go up to discount here. Uh, I'm just gonna make this a little bigger so you can see this. Uh, what I'm gonna do here is over on the right-hand side, I don't know if I just zoom right in here, you can see 
There's a drop down menu just here that just expands the formula bar a tiny little bit, allows me to type a lot more in. So I'm just going to go up here, click at the formula bar at the top, and then let's just start off our equals and then index. And this time I'm interested in the discount. So if I go down to suppliers with discount here at the bottom, and then let me just drag that out of the way a little bit and then go up to discount and give that a click. So I'm look interested in that, type in a comma, and then I want to match. So where we go, the lookup value is going to be the first one it comes to here, and then comma, then I'm going to open up the lookup array. So if any of this gets true, it returns a one there, so you can see that value. And then what we're going to do here is we are interested, what we're we interested in, in the discounts. Yeah, it's good. So we're on the discount one already. So if we say A equals, then come back to orders, and then click on this B2 here. That's good. Close off the bracket, multiply by, open up, and then go back to our discount, and then we can do our B. That's good. It's equal to, back to our orders here, contact name. Close off the brackets. That's good. Type in a comma, zero for an exact match, and then one bracket to close off the, um, uh, the match, and then another one to close off the index. Great, so you can press enter. And now we've got our discount amount here. That's great. Um, what you can do is if you're back in here, you can also do control, shift, and enter to make that an array formula. If that doesn't work um, for you, uh, you should, so if the normal enter doesn't work for you, control, shift, and enter should work for you. Just one little thing with this, uh, and then what you would do is, this is obviously is in the wrong um, formatting, so I click at the top and click on the percentage button to format that, and then, double click down so I can also now get the percentages. Great, that's all coming together quite well here. Uh, so just one little thing that might help you out. If I just zoom in a little bit, these functions can get awfully long. So what you can do is if I say click between uh, the comma and the M just before the match, I can hold down Alt on the keyboard and press Enter. So that'll be Alt and Enter just to bring it down a line or two. I can press space a few times to space it in. So I can start to make a little bit more sense of this one. So let's just go before this bracket just here. There we go, Alt and Enter, that's down. Let's space it in a little bit here. That's good. And then we can do this one here, so especially if you want to do multiple ones of these. There we go. That's great. And then I could bring that last bracket just down a bit here like so. Great, and then you can do Control, Shift and Enter. That's absolutely fine. The function will go in. Uh, you can just press enter, obviously, if you're 2019. You can see the brace is there. And yeah, it's, it's working well. And so it just allows you to see, let me just zoom back a bit, allows you to see um, uh, the formula a little bit more clearly. That's great. Great. Well, yeah, there we have it. Uh, how this Excel tutorial on using index match to compare two lists with multiple criteria. I could probably name this, um, uh, try to use index meet a match when you don't have a unique identifier in a single column. Now it's true you could probably concatenate and bring, bring things together, but now you know this, uh, you can remember the function, you can save it, I'll make the exercise available uh, file available for you on the link down below, and you can just break it out whenever you need it. Great, so if you haven't already done so, please subscribe, click on that subscription button, click on that notifications button as well so you don't miss a thing. Um, if you've got anything out of this, give us a, a thumbs up. I'd just like to take the opportunity as well to talk about our live online uh, courses. And we're also going to be uh, once a month offering a free uh, webinar. So keep an eye out on our website, Computer Tutoring for that, so that you can have a look and sign up and have the ability to just put your hand up and ask some questions about that. So, um, and if you're able to, and I've got, um, and uh, hopefully there's not too many people, uh, I'll be able to answer the, your Excel questions. So I just really want to say thank you so much for watching.